Being uh, the only veteran left in that starting unit from last year. Big changes here, but also can be a start of a better program as the solid block coming from Captain scoring for LaSalle. Yeah, you know, that was a part of still that last match for me against Ateneo. He was struggling in terms of offense, but he made up for it in blocking. blocking. And we're seeing it now. He's starting off early with a one on one. And we're seeing also better performance from Campton. He's been uh, one of the blue chip recruits that everyone has been looking at, especially in this LaSalle squad. As Del Pilar converts with that quick. Kamay Mayan just uh, came in for An Angelo Reyes. Kamay Mayan actually started in the last match against uh, UE, uh, against uh, Adamson rather for UE. Let's look at that again. Yeah, in the pregame, we did. Uh, I remember UP took you and you to five sets. Yes. So you, a lot of people said that, what? That's just straight sets. That's what yeah. we're saying. You cannot take any team for granted. Especially here in men's volleyball because of the growth of all the programs. And the uh, coaches would even say everyone. However, they are trying too hard not to get blocked. And that's changing how they hit the ball. So they just have to try to challenge the blockers, maybe. And I ratify my discussion earlier about having a lot of championships. UE has 12 championships in the men's division of UAP Volleyball. <laughs> so third best yeah, record. Third best record behind. Good pass. Great dig there. A great reception there as uh, Maglino yes. converts easily. You just want to convert, like you said. It's like um, one piece of the puzzle works, the other one doesn't. And, but this time, they do a complete. Yeah, we did mention him in the pregame. He is one of the leaders of the squad together. Especially after a timeout. Serve now comes from DeFeo. On the other side, they go to Captain. Block there by UE. They try on the pipe. Ronquillo, Kinaliwa on the other side. DeFeo pops this one up. To a block by LaSalle. Well, that was, you know, that wall by Adahar. And Biggest lead so far has been 10. It has been trimmed down to 6. Serve coming from Bikar still. They go up to Campton, cross court, and stops the bleeding for LaSalle. But still, Campton just gets that cross. The wind up, but you know that he had to make do with that set. Adjusting to that set as well. They go up to Mangahi, tipping it too high. Red well by Guerrero. On the other side, they go up to Maglinao. For an eight point lead. Yeah, now you don't envy UE because if you see the full end camp, it's like, who are we going to guard? But you have to try get some blocks here. Mangahis will try this time, but speaking of blocks, Ronquillo with a solid block there. And we always say, you know, when we talk about strengths of each team and they use it, that team's going to really definitely prevail. Oh, <laughs> solid pipe coming from Maglino right there. Very light. Serve coming from Adahar. On the other side, Bikar goes up to the opposite side. A hit coming from Pozas. They hit that ball out and that becomes the win. And if you're you, you want to take advantage of the overpasses. And sometimes it might just be a, a very easy case of aggressiveness, just like how aggressive <laughs> Magino is from the pipe. Canton and the jump serve popped up there by Herbosa. They go up to Pozas on the other side. Del Pilar sets us up to Maglino. Mm, Over his seat. Oh, <laughs> Ronquillo on that Egalo. Ronquillo, but just enough to catch the line there. But good hustle by UE. <laughs> See, yeah, but we have to say Quezon was working hard for, in that rally. The floor defense has actually improved here for LaSalle. However, the block of Billy Anima leaves the room wide open for coverage. By Billy Anima, he's really established that wall. And UE having all sorts of problems right now. For they continue mm -hmm. their fiesta this year. They go up to Mangais. Mangais denied again. Three block points for LaSalle now. Player. All around player for LaSalle. Look at that. Solid. Mangais with three attack point serves. At the heart goes up to Anima. Oh! 
technically an A. Yeah. <laughs> Jump serve from Maglinao on the other side. Mangahis fro for the free ball. Guerrero was there at the har. Simply going for a combination play. It's really tough also to really keep these balls alive, especially if it's coming from a very sharp jump serve from a beach volleyball player who's used to all the elements, however, outsmarting them is Aligayon of UE. <laughs> Nothing too far, so he gets that in. Just, an, just the right angle as uh, Pokita goes up to Captain With a cannon. With a cannon. Serve coming from Reyes on the other side. Captain from the pipe. Mangahis will give up a free ball. Anima there for reception. They go up to Ronquillo who finds the corner. Mangahis serves. Let's say to Guerrero, Pokita going to Maglinao. That is going to hit the net. Magnil Maglinao at 10, Ronquillo at 8, and then Campton at 7. At the heart already with uh, 4 points here. You can't rely on technology all the time. Yeah, but zero challenges Just so far. <laughs> well, let's not ask for it, Marina. As uh, Posas gets this one through the blockers, and that was clearer. Yeah, that was a clearer check ball. Sometimes the players don't feel feel the things. check ball. You get numb sometimes <laughs> with how hard that ball could hit. As uh, Noel Campton hits that ball harder. Speaking of hard, <laughs> yes. good serve. Bikar goes up to Pozas, who's been the shining light of UE. They go up to Ronquillo from the pipe. Down the line, Redwell there by Kez, uh, by Herbosa. Adjustment with an off-speed shot coming from uh, Campton. Pozas trying again. Adahar goes up to Campton again through the double block. The defense, though. Long rally oh. we're having here. Mangahes tipping it over to the other side. A tip coming from Del Pilar, kept alive there by her boss. And they go up to Pozas through the blockers. Maglino was there. Longest rally yeah. we're having so far. Oh, oh solid pancake. Pozas tipping it over. Still alive. Great hustle from both sides of the court. Pozas going cross court through the block and finding a kill for that ball. Very tight set number two as Echo Adahar serves with 11 excellent sets in this ball game. Good pass. Posas will try. Oh. Cross court works. So yeah, I mean, remind them of the different options. Serve came from uh, LaSalle, but a great call, uh, conversion right after the timeout coming from Jello Reyes. LaSalle is up by two. Mm. Posas with 11 points in this ball game serves. Adahar will put this one up for Maglino through the triple block, and finding the corner. Three-point lead for LaSalle. Serve coming from Ronquillo. Mangahis will try this time through the uh, to the blockers. They go up Whoa. to Campton. Kept alive by UE. Good save. Let's see where Adahar will go. He goes up to a combination play for Ronquillo. Four set points here by LaSalle. Let's see if UE will be able to save one. As Del Pilar serves. Goes straight to Mangahis on the other side. They go up to Mayalit with a tip. Adahar going for the quick to Anima. And Dili Anima finishes things off with a five point lead. Jean Pokita the third. Well, you did mention, you know, before that timeout, two errors already on the side of UE. So they want to correct that here. Campton will adjust, but he is blocked by UE. Ventura and Adahar for the double sub serve coming from Mangahes. Pokita goes up to the pipe for the Sus. It was supposed to be for Maglina. <laughs> but that works for the Sal. May it be men's, women's. As serve now will come from Posas on the other side. They go up to Maglina with a tip. Smartly placing it right behind the blockers. <laughs> Yui just slowly but surely creeping in here. Serve now came from Reyes and uh, the quick conversion coming from JM Ronquillo. 
So a lot of the a lot of the players also don't use the paddles <laughs> because some of the players that are inside have numbers like 20, uh, 3, 24. Yeah, but you can mix two and three. Yeah. <laughs> 13 block points for uh, LaSalle in total so far. Wow. The Castro with that first ball. They go up to Ventura, who's denied there. And now it becomes a one point game. They go up, and the heart goes up to Ventura on the other side. Bekar choosing. Oh! What a hit! <laughs> Coming from Axel De Vera. Looked like a dunk. A dunk. Three of uh, the current players inside the court were not starters as Maglinao pounds this through and finds the line for LaSalle. Let's just support. <laughs> the call is the call. And uh, you can't challenge calls like this. These are judgment calls yeah. as Maralit gets that one through. Campton babies that one and works for the green shirts. Stay to Maralit. Bikar pops this up. Mm, good the quick, great dig coming from the castle. Campton off speed, oh. finding a donut hole. One point lead back to the favor of Lasalle's momentum swings back to the green side. The serve goes straight to UE. Pozas adjusting on the other side. Adahar going to Campton. Returned. Adahar being aggressive. Popped up by Mangahis. Pozas will try again. Maglina was there. They go up to the quick to Del Pilar. Kept alive by her bossa. Long rally we have here. Mangahis finding a spot. Their error at eight apiece. And that has been the reason why uh, the starting unit has been returned here. Maglina adjusting for that very wide pipe shot. Solid block co coming from JM Ronquillo against Bozas. But I, I don't envy UE. When you look at the front row now of LaSalle, all three have had kill blocks. Yeah. Right? So who are you going to challenge? Let's see. As they try to challenge it with a soft tip, Campton diving for that one. Maglino adjusting on the other side. Becar goes up to Bozas. Kept alive by Poquita. De Castro chooses... Ronquillo, Poquita goes up to Maglina, tipping it over. Oh, Red really? well yes. by Bicar. Adjustment Whoa, kept alive by Captain. Maglina down the line. Bantay na bantay ni Bicar. Block there coming from Del Pilar. Mangahis through the blockers this time. Pinaranas. And look at that celebration. But what defense displayed by both teams. UE did not go beyond 21 earlier. Ronquillo through the blockers. Just enough before he almost touched the net and almost crossed the midline. The highest uh, scoring production that UE has produced in the last three sets. Maglina going for the kill. <laughs> Serve coming from Ronquillo on the other side. They go to Maralit, who's been very effective and extends the set, deucing the match. Yeah. Boy, that, that's, that's a pressure packed uh, sub. Very tight sub there. Oh, <laughs> what a hit. And no center at the moment, but Maglina making it. Whoa. Serve from UE was tough. Poquita goes up to Campton. Oh, great adjustment coming from LaSalle, tying the ball game at 27. Not to say if they have two blockers, they can't score. <laughs> Serve coming from LaSalle. UE with a great recovery. Set point goes to UE. Serve coming from Bikar, strongest front line of UE. Yeah. Pokita goes up to Campton again, off the blockers, and that's a point. You know, at close matches, you don't want to be getting over eager and going for the net. Let me rephrase my statement. Yes, yes, if yes. UE wins Go. this, this will be the second set that they won. However, that ball goes out, and uh, the story becomes LaSalle wins this in straight set. And you did say not to jinx them. Looking for a block touch there. Let's see what a challenger no. will say. Nope. <laughs> no block touch there coming from uh, Billy Anima. That's why this will be an unsuccessful challenge.